in the early 90s. We were trying to ride trials, moto trails on our bikes with cantilever brakes and no suspension. Riding in fresh granite slabs, it was uh, kind of surreal. You know, Squamish has a rich uh, logging history. There's a lot of guys that just had mad wood skills and, you know, we got together and made some pretty amazing trails early on. Blow out your candles, cakewalk, speedball, which people now call Angry M. We did a lot of work to help create the foundation of modern trails here in Squamish. But uh, you couldn't consider yourself a mountain bike destination without a microbrewery. In 1982, John Mitchell, our original brewer, started the first craft brewery in BC, in Horseshoe Bay. And then we came along in the mid-90s. From the beginning, the Howe Sound Brewery, it was, it was kind of a safe haven for climbers and uh, more of the granola types. Even though the, the town accepted us and wanted us here, there was always a bit of contention between you know, industry, and the push to be more tourism destination. We had to be a little careful about what we were brewing and doing. Since we've been around for 25 years, like we always have to be honoring the history that we are a, a kind of a legacy brewery around here. But uh, we need to find a balance between respecting that past while also moving forward with the very dynamic beer industry that we have today. The style of beer that's transformed the most in the last few years is IPAs. Our offerings can show you the history of style. Our Devil's Elbow IPA representing 15 years ago. Uh, our Hop Razor is nine, 10 years ago. Hazy Days is kind of the contemporary IPA. And there are very few breweries that can offer that tasting experience. You know, you start to feel the humidity build as you come down towards Jack's and it just feels like you're treading through a rainforest. The character of Pomplamoose was inclusive, but challenging at the same time and brought out the best elements of mountain biking in Squamish. The trail came first before we started talking about the beer at all. Like a lot of great ideas, this was my girlfriend's idea. James approached us about doing a beer that connected the communities by bringing money from the beer back into the trails. Coincidentally, the head brewer, Peter, is a keen mountain biker and trail builder. I was inspired by the trail to create a beer that does have layers of subtlety. If you do stop and pay attention, then you will find these layers of complexity that I think really reflects the trail that was its namesake. You know, we had a house on brew pub, and then both A-Frame backcountry kind of moved into town and everyone got excited. The craft beer movement is happening and it's also coming here. There's probably 40 different beers available in Squamish at any given time. It naturally has worked that there is a lineup of beers between all three that are really different. Once we kind of discovered who we were as a, as a brewery, the pop culture that inspires us or that we enjoy was what started to influence the, the names of the beers. My favorite almost didn't fit on the can, and it's called Strange Women Lying in Ponds Distributing Swords is No Basis for a System of Government. I don't know. It's pretty unique. <laughs> we have a personality that we just want to express. What we're really trying to achieve is to make sure that everybody who works here is having fun. We can always tell how the dirt is on the mountain by how it is in the, on the floor here at the brewery. I love the creative side of it. I love coming up with new recipes. We're just kind of trying to stay ahead of the curve as far as like staying innovative. Having a hop farm is just great. You pull the hops off the binds, bag them up and bring them right into the brew for a very unique beer that can only be made once a year. It goes. Every time I feel like everything's been done, someone does something crazy.
Our network is so vast here, you can't just look in the map and understand exactly where you're going to go. I think what makes Squamish great is, is the variety. We've got this amazing granite, and it's just so unique to hear. It looks really badass. I think it's a huge draw to why people come here to ride. Well, beer's tasty. You know, it's a, it's a mechanism through which people can sit and chat and use to gather around. Cabin vibes, it's a way of life. If you've been to your cabin or your buddy's cabin, you know, as soon as you arrive, there's just this sense of calm. There's this sense of just welcome. So when we were creating A-Frame, you know, it, it, it started from that. Andrew, who is our brewmaster, he's a bit of a traditionalist, which I think has worked really well for us because we make beer that is a little bit more clean and traditional. We knew that there was a large mountain bike community in Squamish when we got here. Since day one, we've wanted to support it. Since day one, it's been a fantastic relationship. I feel like every ride, every sort of event, every race I've ever been a part of, there's beer involved. It's just a part of it. Over the last couple years, have started to do trail days. We sponsor socials. The amount of people putting effort into trails, trail builders, volunteers, the trail crew, Sorka. You know, there used to be a handful of us showing up to these events, and now there's literally 500. The community, it just sort of builds on itself. And I think that's what's kept me here, is just that draw to the people putting effort into the biking and into the trails.